Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how to realize a screen backlighting setup using an Arduino Nano and the Hyperion software running locally on Windows. This differs from most tutorials where Hyperion runs on the Raspberry and additional hardware is needed, such as a Raspberry, a bigger power supply, and an HDMI splitter. So overall, my method is cheaper. For that, uh, you will need some LED, a power supply, an Arduino Nano, a box containing the connection and a DC jack connector. A few notes on the hardware. I use the WS2811 on which you can already find a lot of documentation online, but this one I use are the WS281160 IP30, which means I have 60 LEDs per meter and the water protection is IP30. They work on 12 volts, have one data pin, and are addressable by groups of free LED. That means I can only change the color of the LED 3x3. This will affect a bit the result of the backlighting, but it's not so important as the color bounces on the wall behind. You could use uh, the LED WS2812, which offers the ability to change the LED individually, but keep in mind that those uh, LEDs work on 5V. Regarding the power supply, there is a lot of confusion and different numbers can be found on the internet. The 60mA corresponds probably to the max current the LED can handle, but in real life the LEDs consume a power of 0 0.184 watts, which, uh, with all the color on, which corresponds to 15.3mA. You can find my source in the description. In my setup, I'm using 114 LEDs, which lead to a current consumption of 1.7 amp. So a 2 amp power supply will do just fine. No need for a bulky power supply that I fool often in tutorials on the internet. Feel free to measure or do the math by yourself. Once you have all the components, the wiring diagram is pretty straightforward. The LEDs are powered via the 12 volt power supply and controlled by a digital pin from the Arduino. All the grounds are connected together and the Arduino will be plugged to the computer via USB. Once this is done, I tried a small test to be sure the LED were working properly. After downloading the Arduino IDE, create a new sketch. We'll need a library called FastLED to control the LED. It allows us not to go into timing details and keep the code simple and clean. First, we need to include it. Then we need to define the number of LED we are testing. In my case, I have 5 meter of 60 LED addressable by 3. Actually, it should have been 100 and not 150, but it doesn't matter much. We need to define on which pin from the Arduino the LED are connected to. In the setup phase, we basically add an instance of the LED with the number of LED and the pin on which they are connected. We also have to specify how the colors are encoded, RGB, BRG. I tried them all to find out which one was my encoding. We loop through all the LED position and light up the current position in green. Then we turn up the LED and wait a bit before going to the next one. After, we need to specify on which COM port the Arduino is connected to. We can check that in the device manager. After that, we can see a green dot moving across the LED strip like that. When all the LED are working for sure, we can fit all the wiring into the plastic housing. For that, I drill two 8mm holes for the USB cable and the jack connector and one 5mm hole for the LED wires. I cut a piece of wire with the appropriate size, solder it to the jack connector, then I fit the Arduino and solder to the ground of the Arduino. I prepare the free wires of the LED connector. Then I solder the free wires and secure the Arduino with hot glue. After that, I attach the LED strip using the adhesive part of the strip. I've bended the edge instead of cutting them and soldering. It's a bit less clean but way quicker and finally I cut the extra LED. Now it is time to set up the software Hyperion. You can download it from their website, link in the description. Once it is installed and executing, open the browser interface.
you can create an instance of the LED. Select which port you want to connect to the Arduino. You can check it on the device manager. Add the LED count. For me, it was 38, which corresponds to 38 groups of free LED. Then, in the LED layout, you must set up how you've attached the LED to your screen. You have few parameters you can play with. Once it is done, you need to set up the appropriate firmware on the Arduino. I provided the link in the description to the code. Just copy it into a new sketch. Modify the number of groups of LED you have, the color of encoding, and the data pin. Upload the sketch. Make sure the LED output is on, and voila! As we say in my language, une bonne chose de fête. Cheers.